who we are, whether recognizing loved ones we're calling past joys or just remembering how to play walk and talk and fry an egg. Memory is the chain that connects our past to our present. If it breaks, we're left untethered, incapable of leaving the present moment and unable to embrace the future. Remember when there were no MP3s but CDs? Didn't care about germs, no concern of disease. Streetlights came on, we high five then we leave. Back in the days, it wasn't so hard to believe that I would wake up as the Black Power Ranger. Never scared of danger, snapping my fingers to the beat of my drum. Became addicted to fun, we would fight with our hands. Never needed a gun, we would gladly chill in the house, play mom and daddy. The greatest feeling was when nobody could ever tag me. So happy, not being the last to be chosen. To run to the candy lady to buy us a frozen. We were just kids up to no good. Remember the first time you watched boys in the hood? Rat tail in the back while my barber faced me. Do you remember when? Yes, no. Remember baby? When you were the end song you liked and you felt like it was about your life. Remember when you would write a letter to your girlfriend and she would read it to all of her girlfriends. Remember staying up for all the night, talking on the phone. Remember skip the class with your home boys. Yeah. Remember G.I. Hey, yo, I wrote the show all day. A long stay in the hallway. Harking back to an era of the tape play. Hitting on the track well. On the max cell. With the spitting of the beginning of a rap tale. A last to scoop the loop shine vividly. In due time, produce rhyme synergy. And for the longest, caught the blinking of the torment. So inkling of performance, still thinking of his dormant. And so it be, who hold close and kept dear. We're left there, won't know folks by next year. For ties cut, invest shares, perplex peers. Rise up and flex fear, for hex sneers. The rest cheer, know we did it for a purpose. Poem of a kid, who never did scratch surface. Until we own it, respect the craft for proponents. Cause it ain't over till the soul. Remember what? You were the ass song you like, and you felt like it was about your life. Remember when you would write a letter to your girlfriend, and she would read it to all of her girlfriends. Remember staying up far all night, talking on the phone. Remember skipping class with your homeboys. Remember G.I. Joe's. I used to play Mortal Kombat with Matthew. I swore he used to cheat. I swear I could never be Those sour jaw breakers, I swear I could never be Baddest chick in the school, I swear I could never be there. Until I wrote her a letter telling her I'm a singer. Me and Terrence would draw pictures of sneakers. Me and Ashley used to be in the class singing. I wrote my first rap in the back of the class thinking, um, I'm feeling that, yeah. Feel the high that you get from the lie. If you feel it, raise your hell in the sky. Oh, I remember selling my mixtape to high school. They was really kind of supportive at my school. I was selling cassette tapes for five dollars. I was making my own beats. I was beatboxing. Brown, brown sugar, that brown, brown eight. 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 They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. It's very simple. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. They want you silenced. And I am the only one that can save this nation because you know they're not coming after me. They're coming after you. And I just happen to be standing in their way and I will never be moving. On November 5th, 2024, justice will be done. We will take back our country and we will make America great again. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. What truly matters is not which party controls our government, but whether our government is controlled by the people.
For too long, a small group in our nation's capital has reaped the rewards of government while the people have borne the cost. The establishment protected itself, but not the citizens of our country. That all changes starting right here and right now. disappointed I well really everybody do. but at the end of the day thanks for showing up public safety yes. and, the, and, and it's about keeping it looks safe, like so. uh it's not gonna happen i'm unfortunate i was ready had a great show for everybody man i was excited this is the first time i've ever done a trump rally i've done a lot of football games probably 200 or so football games but unfortunately weather didn't work out tonight that absolutely sucks you know what's gonna happen okay so here's what's gonna happen the mainstream media is definitely going to run with this and say he got washed out. He wasn't supposed to talk. Everything that they normally say, we know better. I mean, whether it's Wilmington's on the coast by the ocean, it absolutely sucks. Nothing we can do about it. Not a thing we can do about it. Unfortunately, it is not going to happen tonight. Uh, I had a I was waiting for a great time with you guys tonight. I mean, we have, we're going to talk, we're going to have comments. So let me just tell you how it works. So next time you might be ready for what we do. So during the show, whatever is running, if, if hopefully the Trump rally, possibly the court thing, if, if they televise a court program, um, what I can do is I can hit a button here and we can all talk. And as you can see, Theo Kawana says, I love your channel, Barry, all the way from New Zealand. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, Tanya um, says, uh, don't worry about it. We'll be back for another one for sure. Thanks, Barry. It's a lot of fun. So I'm giving you an idea what to look forward to the next time a rally actually happens. We're going to do it. I promise you I will do it. You'll see my videos throughout the week pushing it, letting you know to go ahead and sign up. Um, but this is this is what, what will happen. We'll be able to talk. Obviously, I can't keep up with every comment that comes through. But as I see them, I can go ahead and put them up here. What is scary? The next Democratic president will open the borders up again. Absolutely true. Um, Terry Lynn says, not your fault. Nope, I don't control the weather. I was expecting to have a good time, sit around here and talk to you guys for an hour. Wow, Austin. Austin says, please give us more content. More. I'm doing two or three videos a day, bro. But, you know, if the people want it, that's what the people want. I'll try to see if I can push it up. With this thing called, just so you guys know, with this thing called YouTube, I have to be very, 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 very careful. You can't say certain words. Certain people get triggered that they don't like what you say. They go ahead and suppress your video. So I have to make sure that I'm very, very, very careful in what I say during the videos. But other than that, I'll bring it. Pretty much we'll start using code words, you know, just, or we'll do wink winks whenever I have to use a word. Like in my last video today, when I had to talk about the a word i was talking about you know that thing where you know if you don't want to have the thing yeah that's how i have to be it's unbelievable that's why trump has to win 
Trump has to win because right now, as I did in one of my other videos, we are all gagged. Absolutely. Anybody who thinks they're not gagged, they're lying to you. You can't go to certain stores and wear certain things. I've got my uh, trusty Trump hoodie here, kind of warm in South Florida. But can you imagine walking in, I don't know, maybe a Macy's, maybe someplace wearing this? And what would happen if you wanted to go to a football game in the fall, if you're in the wrong stadium and you're wearing that? Or you have a red hat that's got something written in white on top of it? We are all gagged right now. Uh, let's see, my comments that aren't even respectful. Okay, so I've heard that quite a bit. As you can see, you're you're still live. You're not being shadow banned or not. You are not blocked. Your comments are coming through. And what's happening is I'm not the one who is basically censoring these comments. These comments, if they don't like the words that you're using in them, they're gonna bounce it. They're gonna. They're not even gonna show it. I never even see it. So if you're typing something that sounds, and like you said, it's not disrespectful or vulgar, that's not disrespectful to you. You have to understand the overlords upstairs, those are the ones who find it disrespectful. It's not me. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you often. Um, he says, how long have I been a Miami Dolphins fan? Quite a while. We've been in Florida for nearly 30 years, and I didn't live on the West Coast, so I didn't really get to be, get to be a Tampa Bay Bucks fan, except for when Brady was there. I don't live up north, so I can't be a Jacksonville Jaguars fan. So by default, I was a Miami Dolphins fan. Um, yeah, that Harlem Harlem rally was something else. Absolutely, uh, I love this. Where where is my <laughs> where is my M hat? Um, it's here. I mean, I have to, I've got a bin here full of stuff, and I think it's at the bottom. But, yeah, I'll, I, was, I was planning, depending on what would happen tonight, I knew somebody would ask, and I would dig it up for sure. Uh, there's 1,261 people watching me just meander right now and just talk to you guys. I just want to take a moment. I mean, since the rally is canceled, unfortunately, a lot of you guys get to see my pre-recorded stuff. You never get to see me and talk to me and interact in this manner. So those of you that have decided to stay around for a little bit, fantastic. So we can talk a little bit of news. Let's let's go ahead and talk a little bit of news. How about that? And, and get your opinion on this. Have you heard that one of these idiot congressmen has decided to propose a bill to remove Trump's Secret Service coverage? I can't fathom what these idiots are doing other than they want him taken out a certain way they just can't do it I, and i don't understand every single president and their family because hunter gets uh, secret service protection but they want to take trump's secret service protection away i'm over it with these people they're absolutely nuts as you know today mike johnson caved and they're ushering and sending out 95 billion over there somewhere. Can't even say that word. You know what I'm talking about. $95 billion being sent to a conflict that we're not involved in. Meanwhile, we've got people here in America starving, border wide open, nothing being done, $95 billion. And as I said in my video yesterday, some people have to work for five as much as six months out of the year just to pay their taxes and then you sit back just a couple days after tax day and watch these guys having a party i don't know if you saw it they were having a party and they're having a good time and they're waving those flags in our congress cheering that they gave away 95 billion dollars of your money 95 billion I, I, I think we know we have to get rid of these people. Um, Jay, Jay McRae says uh, he already sent over $200 million in Bitcoin to hide the funds. I, I can't even imagine how many people are getting paid. I, I don't know. I can't prove it. But uh, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And so I don't know if you guys have seen it. Maybe I need to create a video about it. I'm not sure if I could play it on YouTube. But Tucker Carlson and Joe Rogan dropped a huge bomb they actually came out tucker said he met with somebody who said that they know for sure that they are basically blackmailing and, and terrifying people to make them stay in line with the vote 
Mike Johnson absolutely caved. He was, yeah, 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 we're going to do this, we're going to do this. He gets in there, they talk to him, turns into a, a wussy. I, I can't believe that men, grown men, are just doing stuff like that. <laughs> Run for president. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got that kind of jack. Um, I get centered, censored when I express my thoughts and opinion. It, it's uh, against free speech and a part of our constitution. I hear you. I, I mean, I know my videos were doing five, six, seven hundred thousand views on one video, and it just went overnight. Just they just stamped them down. So I, I wanted to stay on today because I wanted to talk to you and tell you I appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos. I know there's a lot of people you can watch. I know you have tremendous amount of choices out there. And I appreciate every single one of you for, for, for hanging there with me and watching these videos. I mean, it's it's fun for me to make. And I know when I use do the work to edit and put all this stuff together, um, that it's, it's fun. And I know it's worth it. I know you guys like it. So I'm just going to keep doing it. It's fun. It's absolutely fun. Uh, 100,000 voters already? Yeah. 121,000 subscribers. Subscribers no, really don't mean anything. It's not like they show it to everybody. You still have to come and, and hunt for it, but I appreciate that as well. Um, Trump should rally by YouTube. You know what I keep saying? I think that Trump, being from New York, I'm sure he's got a Rolodex a mile long. I'm sure he knows a ton of people. Why not rent out Madison Square Garden after one of those court hearings? That would be amazing. I know I would fly up if he was doing a rally in Madison Square Garden. Maybe it would be too many people. Maybe he'd have to rent the stadium in the Meadowlands. Maybe he'd have to rent Yankee Stadium if they're not playing that day. Or City Field where the Mets play. Go out there and just do a 100,000 people in New York and blow the doors off of Poo Poo Diaper Joe. That's what I would do. Unbelievable. Uh, Maggie says, I am sad to say that the GOP is combined of non-testicle cowards. Great way to say that. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Um, <laughs> he has one in New Jersey. Yeah, but I don't think it's up by Manhattan. I'd like to see him do one right in, uh, in New uh, Manhattan. Moki, no, I'm not on Rumble yet. Everybody keeps telling me to do that. Um, bribe like they try to do to Carrie Lake. Now holding that over Mike Johnson. Yeah, Johnson folded like a cheap tent. Cheap, cheap tent. Um... There may, there may be too many idiots lighting themselves on fire, though. Man, that that guy, that I don't. If you haven't watched it, don't watch it. It it is extremely, extremely disturbing. I am. I've never said ever that I'm happy someone passed away, but in that regards, when they said they were taking him to the hospital, I'm like, dude. I, I, there's no way this guy's going to survive. And if he does survive, his quality of life is toast. Forget what was in his head. I mean, he's just going to be a festering bunch of boils. But the guy passed away at 1030 last night. <laughs> uh, I've got you say poo, poo diaper Joe. He is a poo poo, poo diaper Joe. Poo poo diaper Joe. Um, why not? Um, oh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Uh why not have a Trump rally at the Great Lawn in Central Park, Yan Yankee Stadium? I don't think you could do Central Park. I don't know that they could secure it. See, that would be the problem. Could you imagine having to secure a, a basically open-air venue like that? At least a stadium and or, the, or Madison Square Garden. You can actually secure that, not let certain people in. You're not going to be able to secure Central Park. So, And you know the nuts would take a shot. Um, yeah, Diane, he had to cancel it because of bad weather. Um, safety, safety. Um, Poppy says he's coming to Bronx, Madison Square. I, let me know if he's coming to Madison Square Garden. The day he announces that, I'm on a plane. I'm definitely going to go up there. Uh, they secured a damn bodega. Yeah, they did. I mean, they, it's a little bit different. They just needed to carve out a little space for him. But they, they did do it. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, CJ says my <laughs> uncle got ate by cannibals. Yum, yum. Mm, mm, mm. What a liar. What an absolute liar. And then Karine Jean-Pierre goes up on the podium and absolutely lies and basically makes it Donald Trump's fault. You know, her, her go-to and her folder and her binders when she's talking, she has to flip, you know, flip the script and say, 
blah, 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 Trump's fault. Blah, 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 Trump's fault. Worst, worst press secretary ever. Um, can I boost the volume? Check, check, check. Yeah, I can boost the volume. Is it is it louder now? There, there we go. Um, um, so I hope hope that you can hear me. Um, who did you say died? The guy who set himself on fire. Um, he died. That guy. Um, I love North Carolina and would love to uh, have rode to Wilmington to see him. I'm an hour and a half away from there. Yep, it's, it's, it's a very nice place. I used to live in Myrtle Beach, and I used to love going to Wilmington. It's a very, very nice area. I turned the volume up a tad in case it sounds even louder or whatever. Um, you know the thing. <laughs> Jenny Lynn says, you know the thing. Uh, what if Democrats will not concede November 5th? I'm not worried about them conceding November 5th. I'm worried about them making sure November 5th doesn't happen. I mean... We're hearing some crazy stuff about bird flu. I mean, I don't think... Just imagine this. Trump gets somehow acquitted in New York. And the other cases, don't. who knows what happens to them, they fall apart. And then all of a sudden, he gets elected. These people are going to go complete ballistic. They're going to go nuts. So I'm, I'm worried about what would, would happen. Uh, let's see, Joe Biden is <laughs> he's racist for saying the new guinea cannibals. Really, absolutely. Did uh, Yes, somebody asked about the rally being shut down because of bad weather. It, it sure did. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I like this one. Magus Swami 2024. So anyway, guys, this is... Uh, this is what we do in live broadcast. If, if he were talking, we would be basically... You know, narrating what's going on and, and, and giving our opinion as to what he says, talking to each one of us and going back and forth. I'm really, really bummed out. I was I was absolutely psyched and ready to go with this, um, but it wasn't to be. And so I'm going to let you guys go. It's early on a Saturday evening. Um, spend some time with your family. Go out to dinner. Have fun. Pray. Pray again. As I've said in my videos many times, if you pray, keep praying. And if you haven't prayed, now would be a damn good time to start. You, you would, the way this country is going right now would be a very, very good time to start. And all you got to do is pick up a Bible or just ask. Ask him for protection for this country. That's all you got to do. There's so many things. Oh, it, it, and speaking of evil things. I'm not sure, I'm going to make a video about this, but I'm not sure you're aware of the whole Title IX thing, where Poo Poo Diaper Joe now allows those guys to be, basically go into the locker room and be amongst the girls. And if the school says anything, they can get sued. And so now, sports from a women's perspective, God forbid what's going to happen. I've got two little granddaughters, and I know if some dude walked into the locker room while they were there, I'd probably have to take the guy out. This is absolutely nuts what's going on. It's completely ant antithetical with everything I possibly believe in sports, and I can't even fathom how any woman, actual woman, would vote for this guy at this point. So I'm going to do a video about that tomorrow. i got to be very ginger in terms of how I talk about it. But uh, I'll get that up tomorrow. Maybe uh, it's only 7 o'clock. Maybe I can get something done tonight. But I was going to spend some time with the wife. But I've got an extra hour now since we're not doing this rally. Well, I'm going to bounce. Uh, thank you guys for showing up. Next time we'll do it. and We'll talk about it during the court hearing. And let me know in the comments because I'll let, I'll let them keep running. If you want to leave a comment, if I should do a live show during the week. I know a lot of you guys obviously work, so I would never do it during the day. But if I did a live show 7 or 8 o'clock at night and we did a recap of everything that happened that day because so much is going on, let me know and I'll start planning live shows every single night or three nights a week, whatever you guys think you want. I don't mind doing the work. I love engaging with people. I, I, I love editing video. I love talking to people. So if you'd like to see a live show during the week, let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry it didn't work out. We'll get back to you very soon. I'll have some videos either tonight or tomorrow, but let me know about the live show during the week.